Double tap the screen for me real quick. Okay, so boom, look, check this out. So I'm on live one day, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing a little relationship thing, you know what I'm saying? We're going back and forth, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking to the comment section, comment section, talking back, you know what I'm saying? We conversing, you know what I'm saying? But I noticed it was one person in the comment section that kept asking questions. So I said to myself, I said, I'm going to hit this person up when I get off the live. I said, because this person actually, they going through something personal. Right now, because they was answering so many questions. I said, I can't keep ask, answering all of these questions from this one specific person, right? So when I get off the lab, you know what I'm saying? Look, 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 look. When I get off the lab, I go to the person page first. I go to the person page. They have a lot of stuff on there. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't a lot of stuff on there, but it was enough for me to see. You know what I'm saying? It was enough. I don't know if she still got the videos on page now that she had on there. Because this, this was over two years ago. So as I'm strolling, as I'm strolling, you always got to go to when people first started their social media. Because over time, you know, people evolve, right? They evolve. So I stroll all the way down, you know what I'm saying, to the bottom. When I, when I stroll all the way down to the bottom, I seen in the beginning, she was one of these uh, twerk content creators, right? You know, it, she didn't have a lot of twerk videos on there. Maybe two or three. You know what I'm saying? It might have been two or three. If my memory served me correct, she had like two, three jumps on that, right? You know what I'm saying? But she was always with her homegirls. You know what I'm saying? I remember specifically, it was one on there she had on some white pants. So with the white pants video, you know what I'm saying? I watched the jump. Now, the white pants, I said, ooh, I said, dang. I said, yeah, let me message her back. So I go to the DM, right? I go to the DM. <laughs> When I go to the DM, I hit up, pop, 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 pop. What's going on with you? You know what I'm saying? So we going back and forth in the DM. So I asked her, what's her Instagram? She say, I don't do Instagram that much. She said, but I did hear when you was on uh, live the other day, you mentioned your Snapchat. She said, I did add you on Snapchat. I said, oh, okay, bet. I said, well, what's, what's the Snapchat? So when she give me the Snapchat, I go over to the Snapchat. When I go to the Snapchat, I go to the people, you know what I'm saying? Because you can follow people on Snapchat and they not be following you back. They can still see what's going on. So I go through, listen to me. I go through the Snapchat and I had like six or seven snaps on there, right? You know what I'm saying? I, I had like six, seven snaps. And when she gave me her Snapchat name, I go through to see if she been viewing the snaps. Oh, she and all of them consistently. She consistently in all six of them. So when I see that, I go ahead and add her back. When I add her back, five, I see her little light will lit up. I said, let me go through the little Snapchat real quick. Because if y'all already know, you know what I'm saying, on that yellow app with that little white goes in the middle, people got completely different lives on Snapchat than any other social media. You know what I'm saying? You know, over here on, on Instagram, they might be Claire Huxtable. On TikTok, they might be Sasha Furious. You know what I'm saying? On Facebook, they probably they regular self. And then on Snapchat, it, it ain't no telling who they are. I promise you. On Snapchat, it, it's a different monster. So when I click on the Snapchat, right? First video, I'm talking about Cheek said what? I'm talking about Cheek said what? I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. I go to the next. What's up, Lydia? Five. I go to the next. Cheek said what? Cheek said what? I go to the next. Five. Cheek said what? Cheek said. I said, oh, she one of them. I ain't even got to watch the rest of the three. I ain't even got to watch the rest of the three. I said, let me go back. Let me go back to the DM real quick. Let me go back to the DM. Because if she having relationship problems, this, this is exactly why. This is exactly why she having relationship issues right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I go back. I go back. I go back to the, I go back to the, I go back to the uh, TikTok, right? I hit up. Pop, pop, pop. She was like, I want to ask you a question, you know what I'm saying, about my dude. She was like, because I seen, you know what I mean, like, you, she said, you did 10 years. <laughs> she said, I see. <laughs> I see. I see. I <laughs> see. I got video, right? I got video. So I seen where she was like, I seen what you done did 10 years, right? I seen what you done did 10 years and this, this, and that. And she was like, the dude I'm dealing with, you know what I'm saying, he had done some time, and she was like, I want to ask you some questions about dudes who come out, you know what I'm saying, come out of prison. So this was an interesting question. And this is why this is an interesting question. Because for some reason, commercial break me, please. T.O. real quick. Commercial break me, please. For some reason, a lot of women, 
feel like at some point, they are dealing with a man who came home from prison. But over time, for some reason, I think a lot of women start wondering if he done some funny business in the penitentiary. My, my Snapchat is J-O-E-T-T-T -T -T Baker. I think for some reason, women start to wonder. I wonder, you know what I'm saying, maybe he ain't as, as affectionate as he was or... Or he ain't he ain't he ain't uh he ain't uh like he was and they start throwing it up in their face. You know what I'm saying? When they when they start getting into it, then they start saying little slick stuff, then they start saying little slick. So she asked me for some advice, right? So I was like, that was up. So I was I shoot her the number off the top. What's up, Black Barber? Black Barber, commercial break me, please. What you Black Barber, what you what you what what what, what you got going on on your TikTok? Cause you know I, I I'm gonna come back to you. <laughs> so so look, so I shoot her my number right. You know what I'm saying? That's that's in the old phone. That's the six one five. That's the six one five seven nine six fifteen. Eight. You know what I'm saying? If you know it, you know it. You don't, you don't. So I shoot her the number. She shoot me a text message. I hit her back. I'm like, can you talk? She was like, yeah. So I hit her. Up. She answered the phone. Hello. I said, what up? Okay, so boom. She said, okay, so boom. I said, Lord, what's up, dog? I said, what's up? She said, well, look, check this out. Dude been acting funny lady and then, you know what I'm saying? It be taking him a long time and such and such and such and such and such and such. She was like, do you think? I said, nah, nah, nah. I don't think that's what that is. You know what I'm saying? I said, really? I said, really? I think, uh, I think a lot of dudes who come out, you know what I'm saying? They don't realize they have what they call death grip syndrome. Ray, you remember this conversation? <laughs> look, 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 look. I said, most dudes don't realize they have what they call death grip syndrome. Because after you done been in there for all of that time, you you get familiar with it. You get familiar with this right here. You know what I'm saying? So some dudes, when they come out, look it up, Google it. You, you get death, it's called death grip syndrome. So when you come out and then, you know what I'm saying, you have an encounter, you know what I'm saying? You get in the middle of a body, you get in the middle of her body, your, your the middle of your body done got familiar with you know what I'm saying the feel of your hand. I said so after so long you know what I'm saying I, I probably because it'll come out it'll come off I'm, I'm trying to be careful because I'm on TikTok it'll come off and I'm trying to educate some people as well while I'm talking about that. It'll seem the middle of your body almost take it as if. It, you have abused it because that's the only thing that you have access to. So it's just like a it's just like a tongue. It's just like a tongue. A tongue get familiar with how certain things taste. It's just like if you take if you take if let's say you start a diet and you say you want to start eating healthy. Certain things that you start eating. You're going to say they taste nasty, but your, it's because your tongue is familiar with a certain feel. Before you go to prison, the middle of your body is familiar with how that feel. Then you go and you do all of these years and it get used to. And then by the time you come and most men don't even some, some men experience it here at home because I, I experienced it myself because I was like, man, oh, wait a minute. You know what I'm saying? If. If you can feel, but it's not, it does not feel how it used to feel. You know what I'm saying? So you got to, yeah, you, it desensitize. You know what I'm saying? Just look at it. It's called death, death grip syndrome. So I dropped that information on her. You know what I'm saying? But I like the little conversation. Me and her, you know what I'm saying? We, she was cool. You know what I'm saying? She was funny. You know what I'm saying? So over time, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. So she invited me. To, <laughs> she invited me to come to the floor. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been on no plane. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to drive. I'm going to just jump in the car. I'm going to drive. Is it a bad thing? Let me answer that question real quick. It, it's, a, it's a bad and a good thing. If the person, if a man is not aware of it, he most definitely not going to know how to deal with it and how to admit, you know what I'm saying, that that's what they are experiencing. And it's a, it's a problem because women, if a man don't know that's what it is, uh, it'll come off as if he's not attracted to the woman, he's rejecting the woman, or he's just not into the woman. The woman will start thinking things that are not even true because of what he's experiencing. And it, and, it, and it don't necessarily have to be somebody who get out of prison. Some of y'all deal with people who are abusively, you know what I'm saying, with the middle of their body all the time. It can also happen. 
it can happen with women too when it come to you know what I'm saying toys. When it come to them, to you you can get to a place with them toys of where when the actual factual is going on, it does not feel the same. You have to include the toy because you've abused, you know what I'm saying, the original the original feeling of how it's supposed to feel. And so the only the the, the best way with me personally, I think you gotta leave that thing alone. You got you gotta quit touching that thing, you gotta quit bop. Like you gotta you gotta literally leave leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? And see that that's and I'm glad we right there and, and I'm glad we right here in this in this subject because this subject is so important because a lot of people don't want to talk about the tactics of the enemy. A lot of people are just are just Say you know what I'm saying it's good it's a it's a healthy thing it's you know what I'm saying it's natural it's normal but a lot of that is, you know what I'm saying that's that's something you really shouldn't even be, you shouldn't you shouldn't be tampering with it like that and when you tamper with it to that to that extent guess what what it was naturally designed for it takes away what it was naturally designed for and then what happens is you your brain tells you you have to do other things to stimulate what was first natural and now you going to extra you going to extra extents to get the pleasure that you once used to get that you can't get no more because of what you've done and abused the middle of your body so now you 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 you, you and that's why certain people that's why some people they it start off with just you you it, it could be regular regular this, and then you realize the hold on and now you're trying to do all these extra things you need <laughs> then you don't you don't got out there you don't you don't got out there in that water you a little gnarly you know what I'm saying you a little gnarly but listen <laughs> so 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 yeah like, like I did my own research I ain't even gonna lie I, I started yeah I'm gonna put this on YouTube I started doing my own research because I noticed immediately, you know what I'm saying, after about six, seven months I was home, I was, at first I was like, maybe, you know what I'm saying, maybe the middle of my body, you know what I'm saying, just ain't, you know what I'm saying, and then maybe, you know what I'm saying, but then I was like, nah, I need, I need to look this up because I had, I had, uh, this girl that I was dealing with, she was telling me, she, she actually asked me, I was already in my head wondering okay what's what's exactly taking me so long and why is it not feeling like it used to feel you know what i'm saying and then there was a pressure i knew it was pressure i said let me look because she asked me what before she was like oh what's taking you so long she was like do you not like it is it not good and i knew that wasn't the issue it was me so if if a man, if he ain't in the right place, you know what I'm saying, mentally, he most definitely going to create an insecurity, you know what I'm saying, a self-esteem issue with the, with, the, with the woman if he ain't familiar with, with his body. You know what I'm saying? So I started looking it up. You know what I'm saying? I started looking it up. And when I read about death grip syndrome, it, it made absolute sense because I did, ten, I, made, I did 10 years. So we're doing 10 years and, you know what I'm saying, you know, even though I got... I got me something in there my first two years with the officer, but then after that, only thing, only thing I'm familiar with is this. Only thing I'm familiar with is this right here. And and let me educate while I'm on this while I'm on this subject. Another thing that the mind will do when it comes to the middle of your body, not only will it desensitize, but it will also create the point of where seeing. Like, for me, I'm going to speak on it, you know what I'm saying, because I'm a believer. Deaf grip. It's called deaf grip. Deaf grip syndrome. Deaf grip syndrome. Deaf grip syndrome. It will also create to where uh, that the actual encounter does not uh, arouse you the way that it naturally should. Your your eyes and your body will only respond to you. Know, Ten years in that place with cell phones, the, the only thing... The only thing you watching is stuff on your phone. And so if you watching stuff on your phone all the time, your mind, it's, it, 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 it's like it, it, it programs it in your mind and it get, it get into your spirit, it get, it get into your blood flow. And so now the only thing that's really getting you to that level is you actually seeing it on the screen. Ver that's what when people talk about, when people talk about, uh, an addiction to to that p word oh it's it's most definitely real because now you you can see it in front of you in real life and it not arouse you the way it would if you went and turned on the video and so i noticed <clears throat> i noticed i i had a problem 
you know what I'm saying, when I first came home as far as dealing with that as well. Because I could <clears throat> I could be with I can be with a woman, you know, pressure, and I can notice my body is not responding. And this ain't this ain't easy to talk about. This ain't easy to talk about. This, this is a real conversation. I'm noticing my body ain't responding the way it would if I rolled over right now and turned my phone on. If I rolled over right now, I could think about turning my phone on immediately. Thick, listen, long, wide, strong, listen. He still, he, he up there. But being actually around and I'm like, what, what is that? So I, I, I had me, me coming home. I, I had two. I had two issues that I was dealing with. For one, I'm, I'm used to watching it on the screen and the middle of my body is used to my hand. So, so, so at that point, I'm trying to figure out what's you know what I'm saying? How do I need to reverse this? How can it, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and for a long time, you got to leave that, you got to leave that screen alone. Completely, yeah, if you can't leave it alone, leave it. Leave the screen alone. Then you got to, you got to give, you got to let your body get used to feeling what it, what it, what it used to feel. Yeah, if you got questions, just, you have to DM me because this, this is a real conversation. Like I've had this conversation a whole lot of times with people who didn't understand, you know what I'm saying, that this was going on, especially with people who come home from prison and not realize, you know what I'm saying? I done actually talked to some of my homeboys that done been in tour with their gals and this, and they would say things like, man, she don't need, you know what I'm saying? If I had to, you know what I'm saying? I'll just use my hand. It ain't even like I need that. When really deep down, he probably was experiencing death grip syndrome and he didn't know how to communicate that or he was not familiar with the subject and the topic. So his go-to was, I don't even really need her. You know what I'm saying? I did all of this time. I just, you, well, really, that's just, you know what I'm saying? You was going, it, it, was, a, it was an internal issue. It was an internal issue. So, <laughs> so, so look, so look, so look, check this out. So I tell my homegirl, I'm like, man, bro, I'm like, look, 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 check this out. I was like, man, I'm just going to come on out there. You know what I'm saying? Come on out. Because I done seen the little twerk really ho, you know what I'm saying? I done seen her get loose a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Then she done, then she done sent me a couple. I done seen some of my homegirl with her, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm trying to go up here and see what's going on. <laughs> so when I get up here, when I, before I get there, I'm already asking her, look, check this out. So what's the, what's the situation with you and dude? And she tell me, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he done moved on and this, this and that. And then, after I'm already on my way, you know what I'm saying? I'm on my way talking to her, you know what I'm saying? Because she told me, you know what I'm saying? You get tired, you know what I'm saying? Come on my way talking to her, she then want to tell me, you know what I'm saying? That his name is on the lease and his dogs is over there. And his, his name on the lease and his dogs over there. So I'm thinking to myself, so you telling me he can pop up at any given time, you know what I'm saying? To check on his dogs. And then, and then, and then I'm in here. She was like, well, he don't even come over like that. Like he already dealing with somebody else. And she was like, let me she was like, let me let me get your opinion on this too while we talking about it. She was like, oh, uh, it seemed like he only she, I said, <laughs> she said, it seemed like he only date younger women. If you know I made a post about this the other day. She said he only date young women. She said, what you think that is? I said, well, how old, how much, how much older, you know what I'm saying? Then he she said, uh, I think it's I think it was like an eight, eight, nine year difference, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, the girl he, I think the girl he dealing with now, he keep lying to me about, you know what I'm saying? I think she like 12 or 13 years younger. Than I said, well, well, how old is he? You know what I'm saying? He, he in his mid, he in his mid 40 somewhere. You know what I'm saying? He probably, he probably almost tapping, he probably almost tapping on 50. He probably almost tapping on 50, right? So when she tell me that, she said, do you, I said, what was he locked up for? I said, do you know what he was locked up? I said, do you know, do you know what he was locked up for? She was like, well, he went for such and such and such and such and such. So she tell me, she tell me, she, she tell me the case, right? That was up, did she? That, that was up. So she, he, she tell me what he go to prison for. She wondering, she, she, she wondering if he went or if he ever, you know what I'm saying, before he went, you know what I'm saying, if he dealt with. And the reason I asked that question the other day is because majority of the time, I've heard women ask me, commercial break me, please, because this is a question I got to ask. I've heard women ask me after so long that they done dealt with a dude and then he leave them and he get with a younger woman. It always seemed like he got predatorial uh, motion. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he got some predatorial in him. You know what I'm saying? And from, 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 from my personal experience as far as what I done, from what I done experienced or what I done seen, Dudes who do that, in my opinion, they like a lot of control. They emotionally immature. 
and they don't like they don't like to deal with women who are who can who who got their mind together who who kind of you know what I'm saying know what they want know what they don't want know what they going to go for a lot of time when they deal with younger women they like to deal with younger women because they like to mold them they like to mold them you know what I'm saying they can go ahead and set the tone and the foundation you know what I'm saying a woman who kind of know themselves you know what I'm saying and ain't going to go for that who going who going who going to talk back you know what I'm saying they like hold on you ain't gonna, I ain't finna go for that and then not only do they try to mold do they try to mold them they they put themselves in a position of where you know what I'm saying they kind of the bread one in the situation they kind of it's almost like they put themselves in a position to be like a daddy to this person you know what i'm saying and or and then see let me tell you something people with people with that kind of mindset when it comes to being a predator they don't have to ask you they don't have to go through your history to even understand that you that you are dealing with these types of things these types of issues they don't have to ask you what was your relationship with your daddy to figure out if you have daddy issue they don't have to ask you about your family for them to know that you don't have nobody that you can go and ask questions to and vent to and they gonna put you up on game they just gonna be able to tell that by how sloppy probably your conversation is and the things that you you know what i'm saying the thing your perception on life they gonna peep game just from having conversation with you they gonna know oh yeah this 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 and that and then before you know it they done started having conversation to where you done start venting about your people about your situation how ain't nobody this and how ain't nobody that and then before you know it they done crept in to be what it was that you have been missing all of your life and now they, they done stepped in and they playing the daddy role and if you and if you're not aware and have acknowledged that you have daddy issue what you gonna look at is genuine is really you trying to fill a void of something that you never had and not know that it's a person who basically taking advantage of you and see these do and see these types of dudes and that i got homeboys like this I got homeboys. You you talk to them, you know what I'm saying? You can put them up on game and you can explain it to them and they're going to swear up and down that they hard in the right place. But the only thing you got to do, when it comes to anybody, the only thing you got to do is pay attention to patterns. If you pay attention to a person pattern, it'll tell you anything about them. If, if, if you start dealing, if you deal with a person because it's, it's when you brought into this world, you, you go from a baby to an adult. The world is built on evolution. The world is built on growth. It ain't nothing in this world that if you can water it, if you can feed it, it's meant to grow. So if you're dealing with anybody who patterns, who, who, who in the same pattern, what they do is they stop and you can watch behavior patterns. So if you're watching a person, if you, you will know that they the common denominator. If you're watching a person do the repeating cycle, he deal with one woman, he leave that woman, he go he he go get a younger woman. Cause what he wanna do is he wanna stay in the stage that he familiar with. The minute that the person cause sometimes, sometimes at some point the veil gonna come off your eye. Now, even because of this person young, he'll know that it'll run his lives will run his course, his game will run his course. And at some point, that person gonna be like, nah, I'm through with that. And then what he gonna do is because he's not growing no more. He's going to repeat the cycle. He's going to repeat the pattern. And then he going to go and he going to go get something that to where he can start this whole process over. Because this person don't know how to grow emotionally, mentally, spiritually. This person does not grow. So they got to go back and grab somebody else that they can repeat this process over with. It's just, hold on, I'm going to get back to the story because this is my favorite part. You know what I'm saying? I love to tell a story. My favorite part is the educational part because you, you, you'd be surprised how many actual people who don't know not aware of the situation, right? So look, check this. <laughs> and just like when you go to prison, like when you go to prison, I tell people all the time, when you go to prison, your time stop. You know what I'm saying? I went to prison in 2007, so my time stopped in 2007. Physically, I'm still here, but I died a mental death. You know what I'm saying? So I've been home for six years now. Now I've been able to grow, you know what I'm saying? Mentally, I've been able to add on, you know what I'm saying? Add on to who I am. So, and that's the same way with people who are here in the world who can, because I like to say, people continue to do what works for them. 
People get stagnant because they just keep repeating the process that's been working for them. A lot of people stay on their job. You know why? Because their job been paying their bills regardless of the gifts and the talents that the Most High put in them. They just continue to do what's been working for them versus stepping out on faith. People just, just like your kid. Your kid can know that your children can notice a pattern with you. And instead of stepping outside, why would they step outside the pattern when I know I need to do A, B, and C, and X, Y, and Z, and I'm going to be able to get these results? Every single time, and any person that you're in a relationship with, these per these people are gonna learn who you are. They gonna understand how you move. They gonna understand how forgiving you are, how considerate you are, how civil you are. They gonna learn these things about you, and then at that point, guess what you have to do? You gonna have to demand and require that person bring something else to the table. Because if you don't demand and require, what that person gonna continue to do is what's been working for them. That's why it's so hard to. Bring Break patterns when you allow them to start. The soon as they start the pattern, if you don't step in and try and 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 and, and sever that immediately, ain't no way you're gonna wait six months date later on down the line when you done got tired of it. What's going on, Pastor now? Hey, I checked you out the other day too. I don't know if you seen it. it but the sooner if you don't break that pattern, they gonna continue to do it. And see, that's the tactic of the enemy. When you go read the word, the, the, it's gonna tell you that the that the enemy is crafty. Why would the enemy attack you any different, send you any kind of other vices, send you any kind of other people when you constantly continue to fall for the same tactics? See, the, the enemy don't need new tricks when he know all your vices, when he know what ecstasy in, when he know when he know what kind of addictions that you have, when he know what triggers you, when they when, when you have not grown and got to a place of where you realize what's constantly making you fall off, what's constantly pulling you, you when you take two steps full and then you take 18 steps back why would the enemy change the tactics when it's continuing to work it's the same thing with other it's the same thing with people who are in this earth ain't no sense in me changing how i'm moving if it's still getting results out of you that's just like with, like with my child mama for instance i used to always have a button you know what I'm saying? I'm knowing, <laughs> I'm knowing what to say. I'm knowing what to do. I'm knowing I done waited too long. I need a text or I miss you. I know, and it's gonna it's gonna trigger certain emotions. But at some point, what she did was see see see. Sometimes when you want to kill something, you gotta starve it. You gotta starve it. And by the time you quit responding to what you used to feed, at some point it's gonna die off because you're not feeding it no more. So at that point, you got to watch for the desperation because then what's going to happen was they're going to they gonna start getting a little more aggressive because they're going to get a little more desperate and they're going to try to do more things than what they used to do or probably saying more than they used to say. But by the time you starve it enough, that thing, is, it, it has to die because what it's going to see is it's no longer working. So it's got to go somewhere else. That's, that's, it was, see, that's what demonic spirits do. That's what demonic spirits do. By the time you dry it out on that dry land, and it ain't got nothing else to suck off of what it's going to do is it's going to have to leave you and it's going to have to try to go somewhere else and try it somewhere else because you're not eating over here no more. It's done. It's done. So look, <laughs> so look check this out. I know it's a long break, but let me get back to the story. So I go, so I drive on up. I drive on up here, right? You know what I'm saying? When I get on up here, you know what I'm saying? I pull up to the house, right? Skirt. When I pull up to the house, nice little house, you know what I'm saying? I see the little, I can see a little, you know what I'm saying, with a dog. I see the little cage, you know what I'm saying, she got in the front, but I don't see the dog, you know what I'm saying? I don't even, I don't know if they big, I don't know if they big, I don't know if they attack strangers or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I, I ain't tripping though, I ain't tripping. So I pull up to the house, nice little house, you know what I'm saying? And then one of the kids come to the door. Now, kids is nosy out here. Kids is nosy. Now, now, now I'm going to tell you, this, this, this is the first thing I like about my home. When I pull up to the house, I'm not going to stay at your house long if your blinds is, is a little ripped up. See, I come from the hood. I come from, so it's certain things that trigger me. And when I see, when I ride through neighborhoods where you, y'all know when the air conditioners is in, is in the window and, and it look like kids been rubbing their hands all against it and that silver, you, they done flipped it over and that silver, you could tell, look like they done put all their little fingerprints and stuff in there. See, when I see, uh, when I see air conditions that that, that, that them happen to, and then I see a lot of broken, I see broken blinds in your window. I can't deal with you like that. That stuff triggers me because I, I come from that. See, when I growing up, it, it, it I was at my homeboy house, but now I can't deal with you like that. So when I pull up, first thing I notice was her blinds ain't broken, and she got kids, so her kids gotta be well mannered. So when I pull up, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if one of them was looking out the window. I don't know if she got cameras. And come to find out, she had she got a little camera, right? 
So the, I guess the, the children in here watching, they in here watching surveillance. So my brain, I have to say to myself, what what what, what, what they on guard for? Like, why is the kids in here watching surveillance? Like, did he see me pull up and then he popped the door? Open. Now the, 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 the oldest little girl popped the door and like, fuck. As soon as she popped the door, I mean, she just kind of looked. And then she closed the door. And I could tell from the way she closed the door, it was a slam. You know what I'm saying? Because you can, you see, I seen the blinds move on the door. So she, boom, when she, I'm guessing she going to report to her mama, you know what I'm saying? If somebody done pulled in the driveway, she ain't never seen this car before. She don't know who this is, right? You know what I'm saying? I done told her I'm about to pull up. She tell me she was in the shower, whatever, whatever, whatever. Just hit me. So I'm texting, I'm like, what's up with the little girl, man? So finally, she come to the door. She, and when she stick her head out, she got a, she had a little bob. She had a little bob. Now, I like a, I like a, you know what I'm saying? Them bobs, when they cut right, they so they flow so right. So when she stick her head out, you know, the bob kind of just, you know what I'm saying? It just like a like a like a slinky almost. It would just, it would just flow. So when she popped out, she was like, come on, come on. So I'm like, dang, I'm like, oh, okay, 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 man. So I get out of the car, you know what I'm saying? I turn the bow leg from a seven to a ten instantly, you know what I'm saying? And then like I, if you done heard the story before, you you <laughs> you already know what time then. I got the sweats on. You know what I'm saying? Because by the time you, if you walking bow legged in the sweats, I don't know how many other dudes familiar with this move, but this, this, this is one of my favorite moves. You know what I'm saying? Because when you turn that bow leg on, you know what I'm saying? Pig going to automatically push up. You know what I'm saying? Because when you got the leg, when you got the leg cocked in like this, you're, it's automatically got, it's automatically got to sit up. So I come through, I, since you're watching on surveillance, I already know you're going to be able to see the middle of my body from the camera. So I go, I go to the, I go to the door. The, the, the door crack, right? The door crack. So I walk in, pow. I look, kids sitting on the couch. You know what I'm saying? They watch the TV. They ain't loud. They ain't doing, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't eating noodles. They wasn't eating noodles or none of this. Wasn't no cereals, no potato chips, no none of this. You know what I'm saying? I'm guessing. I said, oh, okay, okay, okay. She most definitely one of them mamas who understood. We're going to get this together, you know what I'm saying, before my company get here. Now, they don't, it ain't a lot of mamas out here like that no more. They don't care. They don't care. They, they don't invite you. I've been to some women house, you know what I'm saying, with kids. They don't even care. This is this is our home. This is this is what it is. No, 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 no. You you got to get this situation under control before I come over here because I'm, I'm gonna be scared. So when I come in, they hey hey. One of the kid one of the kid busts out. I say okay, so boom. I said all that was up. So I go through. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what I'm saying? Hit all of them up or whatever. You know what I'm saying? She was like, I'm back here. I'm back here. I said, oh, well, back where? Cause the house was kind of big. I said, back where? The kids are like, oh, you just go right here, just go down there, and then, then you, you know, she she right down there. My mom, she just got out of the shower with this, isn't that? I said, I ain't bet that. So I walk my little bow legged tail along back there, right? When I go back there, I sit on the bed, bed made up, just like, just like, listen, just, just like the bed made up, right? This is what I noticed. Why do women need all them pillows for? That that's what I want to know. What's 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 up with all the pillars? Why all the pillars? I I I ain't never been to a woman house that ain't had at least fifteen pillars on her bed. I ain't never been to a woman house that got that got that, that, that many pillars. It don't take that much. It take too long to make up a bed. No, it ain't. It ain't cause they comfy. Because y'all don't never let nobody lay on them. I ain't never been to a woman's house with that many pillows and allow people to lay on her pillows ever. We it's always they on the bed. They of course they there for decoration, but you don't need that many, bro. You take the pillows, you sit them down. If they hear, I, we can't lay on them. We can't lay. We can't lay on the pillows. We can't lay on the pillows. You don't need fifteen pillows. Is what I'm saying. Now, you can have you five or six good pillars up or good, nice, colorful pillowcases and make it. The, 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 listen, if you got a king size or a queen size bed, it ain't no way all them pillars supposed to be all the way at the middle of your bed. It ain't no way. It ain't no way. Then you got a, one of them little comfortable. It ain't a throw blanket. What's up, Travari? You got a little throw blanket. It's like the little throw blanket at the end got a meat in the middle of the bed with all the pillars. 
Ain't no way the whole middle of your bed is supposed to take up pillows, bro. It, it, that, that's crazy to me. That just don't make no sense. That's just like right now, I got two pillows on my bed. You know, two pillars on my bed. Any woman who done seen my bed, the first thing she say is, you need to get you some pillars. Nope. You listen, listen. Before you even get it in your mind, I don't want 18 pillars. I don't. I just don't want 18 pillars. So, 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 so me and my homie, so me and my homie, she take me out there. She take me to one of the little places, you know what I'm saying? We kick it or whatever, whatever. Then she started telling me about this dude she was talking to. You know what I'm saying? Cause she claimed she done left dude alone and she started talking to this other dude. She was like, yeah, I, well, I met this guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if he in his feelings. See, that's another thing about women. That's another thing right there. When you move on, this is a question. This is a question I'm asking the women. When you move on, if you really done moved on, why are you concerned about how the other person going to feel if they find out? Cause as I'm listening to her talk, she's talking about this new uh, journey that basically she could start with somebody else. You get into this new journey that you can start talking. You start talking about somebody else, but in the middle of why you talking about somebody else, you keep referencing the, the the situation that you was in. You know what I'm saying? And I already know he gonna be he gonna be asking me when he see I ain't calling him. He see I ain't texting him as much. He gonna be asking me. I, he gonna be saying stuff like, "Oh, you must got you a dude. Oh, somebody must be over it. I know you seen me call last night." Like she keep bringing up. You know what I'm saying? Bringing this dude up while she telling me about the new dude. So I ain't saying that. I'm just letting the vent. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know the word tell you. You know what I'm saying? Be slow to be slow to speak. You know what I'm saying? Quick to hear. Because a lot of times people people don't listen. To, to get an understanding, that way they can respond. People just listen just so they can respond. Like they just heard what you said and then they boom, boom, boom. See, I ain't one of them dudes. I'm sitting back, you know what I'm saying? I'm paying attention to body language. I'm paying attention to how you saying. I'm paying attention to the tone. I'm paying attention to when you get high pitch, when you get low pitch. I can even tell from listening to you when you done got triggered in talking about a situation. You know what I'm saying? Because then with it, your facial expression change, all of that change. So I like to sit back and I like to pay attention, right? So I, after she get through talking, I said, why you still worried about him? Ain't nobody worried about him. Boom. She was triggered right there. Did you, this is really what you want to talk. I said, why are you still worried about dude? Ain't nobody worried about dude. I just know how he get. He feels like he can go out and do whatever he want to do. And then when I question him, he going to tell me it ain't none of my business. He's single and this is mad and da, 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 da. And then as soon as I started, it's cool when they do it. It's a problem when I do it. It was one of them type of situations, right? <laughs> I said, I said, but it sound like to me from listening like you done got to a place of where you're re you're playing offense you you're not you you're playing defense and not offense he's always on offense like he's always scoring like you're always on the defense of what if I do this or he doing that and this and that. You always on the defense of end, and it seems like you always two steps behind. And see what men understand when it comes to women. Women are very emotional. So the way we respond to things is completely different than how women respond to things. Because y'all are getting y'all feelings and it's easy to tell. Your emotions will drive you. It's like putting a steering wheel in your back. You know what I'm saying? And you just, and you just on cruise control. You just drive that thing. So it's easy. And by the time we done got to that point of where we know you got that button and can get up under your skin, it's just, it's just easy. It's just easy at this point. So the minute you see, this, this is what we understand. You're strategically trying to go a certain amount of days without calling a texting. You might be talking to somebody else, but you're strategically not saying nothing to me because you're waiting for me to say something like, oh, I ain't heard from you. And then you're going to go straight on defense instead of ignoring it. You're going to go straight to and what I'm going to be hitting you up for. You out here doing you. I'm doing me. And as soon as you respond that way, guess what? You lost the battle again. Because you was trying to get ahead of the game, and just because he asked you what, what you up to, what you, you automatically give him the pop. You, you let him know he, he ain't lost no power. And then if you don't respond like that right off the bat, it could be something as simple as this. Oh, what you got going on? I was just checking from you. I was just checking on you. I ain't heard from you. Oh, I was saying you do you like you always do, and then get what he going to hit back and say, well, you know what I'm saying? I already know, you know what I'm saying? I just like to give you a space every now and then because I don't like beefing with you. 
Then he say something to make it sound like he cur. Whoo, listen, 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 listen. We, you ain't got to do that. Let her go off. Then say something to sound like you care. Somebody said it a while ago. This is just a form of gaslighting, right? You, you, and then you, you make it like you ain't. This person continue making it like they ain't never done nothing wrong to you. They ain't said nothing wrong to you. They ain't worried about the lie you called them in. They ain't worried about what you called them cheap. They ain't worried about none of this. They ain't worried about none of. It. They act like ain't nothing happened. They just. Uh, well, I would just give you a space. You know how you get in that. And then they, when they say, I know how you get, it's over with. What you mean how I get? You, you are, listen to me. You over here, Texas. Over here. <laughs> listen to me. And then get what he do. There she go, man. She tripping again. She tripping. He throw his phone down. Get what? He pick up his he pick up his controller, tell it home, boy. Man, she tripping again, bro. I was just trying to check on. He gone. Listen to me. He gone. He gone back this day. No, we sit there and I'm trying to explain her. I'm trying to give her the game. Like, homie, you you still allowing him to win. See that? See that's how my child mama. That's how my child mama got me in order. You know what I'm saying? She completely starved me out to the point of where I realized, oh, that that just won't never be again. Like it's it's, just, it's done. It ain't nothing I can say to trigger. It ain't nothing I can say to make her mad. It ain't nothing I can say to get her in her feelings. It ain't nothing I can say to make her emotional. At that point, get what? I just quit saying stuff. It, it's over with. It's it's done. It's bonito. It's finished. So we finished eating, right? We finished eating, and she and then she started back telling me about this dude. You know what I'm saying? She tell I ain't gonna tell him. I ain't gonna go into the details about. You know what I'm saying? What what you, you know? You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. So we get we get to the house. We chilling, right? So I and I said, how you meet this dude? She said, oh. You know, I was trying to find me a new, you know what I'm saying? I was trying to find me somebody else to get my green from, you know what I'm saying? Because I used to go through him or one of his homeboys, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to get away from that. So I would try and find him. She was like, I was at the gas station, you know what I'm saying? And I was coming out, you know what I'm saying? This dude, you know what I'm saying? He was like, I got gas, got gas. You know what I'm saying? He was one of them. He was one of them gas one of them gas station or gas man. He was like, I got gas, got gas. And she was like, oh, for real, let me see it. So he, she said, he walked to the car, you know what I'm saying? I let him get in the car. My kids wasn't in there, nothing, you know what I'm saying? He pulled a green out, you know what I'm saying? I smelled you know what I'm saying? Gave my number, whatever, whatever, whatever. She was like, so, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I've smoked a few with him. You know what I'm saying? He's smoking for free. So, you know what I'm saying? I let him pull up. I smoke for free. You know what I'm saying? I smoked a couple with him. And then next thing you know, you know what I'm saying? One night, one day we sitting there. She was like, man, I don't know what he had that day. I don't know what it was, but I don't know if it was Intica. What is it? Intica or, or Stativa. She said, I was in there. She said, I ain't gonna lie. I'm feeling good. He'll rub me on my leg. I just kind of looked at him like, Watch out. I'll just be buying weed from you. What is you doing? Tripping. Hmm. She said, then he rubbed, he, he rubbed my leg again. He rubbed my leg again. She said, you know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna go, I ain't gonna go all into the business, right? I ain't gonna go all into the business. I ain't gonna go all into the business. She say, but she say, after that, you know what I'm saying? They kind of, they kind of started kicking it. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, I only gave some one time. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to get into the, I wasn't even, I wasn't even asked for all this information. I just gave him some one time and then look, 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 look. This, 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 this is one of the signs of when you know, you know what I'm saying, a woman want to give you some. You know what I'm saying? Because in a conversation, listen, 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 hold on, I'm finna wrap it up, I'm finna wrap it up. This, this is a sign when you know a woman want to give you something because they give you an indication that they got that good do it. They give you an indication that the middle of their body is, is, is good. And the way that they do that is by saying that this man started acting crazy. That was it. He started tripping. I gave him something one time. Then he got to blowing my phone up and got to tripping and this, this, and that. And it, that's her letting me know, you know what I'm saying, this, that pressure. And I just can't give it away to everybody. So get what I do. I said, huh. I said, it probably didn't have nothing to do with that. I already know it did. Every dude, every, it, it happened every time. That's why I'm finna quit. That's why I ain't finna just keep, I ain't finna keep doing like it. It happened every time. Every time I talk to a dude, get cool with him, and then I give him, I give him, I give him some cool cat. Next thing you know, they, they acting crazy. The answer, they, they talking about what? You ain't texting me back. What you doing? When I'm gonna see you again? And this, this, that. I said, oh, she putting on for the cool cat. I said, look at her putting, I said, look at her, her advertising this. I said, she just advertising that she got a little water park in the middle of her body. You know, I'm a little managed. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a little purr. So since we since we in this conversation right here, you know what I'm saying? Because see, see, I didn't want to mention. I didn't want to mention this part. I didn't want to mention this part. But I, I got to. I got to let my people in. I got to let my people in, right? 
So, you know, before I go down there, you know, we 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 most definitely FaceTimed it up a couple of times. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at her, she looking at me, we looking at each other. We FaceTimed it up a couple of times now. Now, now the thing, now you know what I'm saying? She she most definitely a, a high power sprinkler. She most definitely a high power sprinkler. So <laughs> So, so now that she putting on, she putting on about this, right? We sitting on the couch. We 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 get to the house. We get in. You know what I'm saying? We sitting on the couch. We chilling. All of a sudden, some hot beam, some lights, some some lights flash in front of the house. She pull she pull her phone out. Fire. She go to the monitor. I looked over at the phone and noticed. You know what I'm saying? She she must got the camera somewhere 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 on the roof. So when she pulled the phone out, she go to the monitor, she look at the phone, roll her neck. Ooh, he get on my nerve. Who? Who getting on your nerve? What's going on? Cause I seen the light. I seen the light. So this, she like, he just he just out there parked again in front of my house. Like I told you. I'm like, who? Like, hold on, bro. I'm way down here in Florida. I ain't got the blinky on me. I don't carry blinkies no more. But I'm just saying, you done told me that this dude a little crazy, get a little whatever, whatever. The lights just flash. You done pulled out, check your monitor, and then you just gonna fix your mouth and say, did you not understand that you just said he out there again? Like, like, what? Like, he out there like he the FBI or something. Like, he... Yeah, he just, I don't know what it is. He, he be pulling up, he'll sit out there for a couple of minutes, then he'll text me and say, you're going to act like he don't know I'm outside. Because he know, he know I got the camera. He know, you know, any car come through, it's automatically going to give me a notification. He'll sit out there and then, he, then text and be like, so you're going to act like, you're going to act like you don't know I'm outside? I said, let me see that month. Let me see. So I look at the manga. I said, can you zoom up on her? She said, yeah, you can zoom. You can zoom. She was like, I don't because how far yeah, you ain't gonna be able to see that much. So I zoom in. You can see when he when he 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 must have been in there. See, he was trying to pull the move and get her come out there and smoke, smoke with him. He he pulling, you could tell, you know what I'm saying? When you when you smoke, you know, you can see the little fire burning on the tip of her, right? He sitting out there, he he must be sitting out there just smoking. <laughs> Texting her phone, talking about he outside. My car's out here, man. My mama car, anyway. I drove, I drove my mama car, the Hyundai Sonata. I, my mama car's outside. He going she gonna text and say, I got company right now. Wait, 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 wait a minute. See, see, that's what I don't understand when it comes to women right there. See, you claim you don't really like this boy. You ain't gay in the middle of your body. Then you you claim he acting a little crazy. You see he out here sitting out here, then you gonna say. I got company. Why would you say that to somebody that you claim that the cooter cat done drove crazy? Don't tell them you got company. You tell them your homegirl is over here. You don't, you don't do nothing like that. What's wrong with you? Cause cause now you out here, you you trying to make you trying to set this boy off. And I hate to have to do it to him out here. You know what I'm saying? I heard they giving away a lot of time in Florida. You know what I'm saying? But I hope they got the self-defense law out here. Cause I promise you, listen to me. Talking about, I got company right now. I said, why would you do that? Cause I'm just tired of him. He needs to know I ain't dealing with him like that. He need to know. No, you ain't you, you ain't got the strength and the courage to tell that other boy that. If that other boy came over here right now, you would have told him, my homegirl is over here right now. We doing you ain't got the nerve to let that to let that man who still got control over you. You don't never want to tell him you're sleeping with nobody. You don't want to tell him you mess with nobody. You don't want to tell him you out here, you out here, you out here, you out, you out here dropping it low on the phone. You don't you don't want to tell him you 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 been out here. Watching me watch that power water sprinkler on, on FaceTime. You tell him that. Tell him that. Tell the person that you that you need to get over that. No, you see, see that what's wrong with women. Y'all, y'all ain't got no problem with running out somebody you know you didn't want to deal with anyway. But when it come to that dude that got all that control, you a lie to him for no reason. You will be out on a date. He texts you, what you doing? I'm with the kids right now. Now, go ahead and break his face too. Go ahead and tell him. Go ahead when he asks you what you doing. Matter of fact, go ahead and take a picture of the person you with. Act like you're trying to get on Snapchat. Do this right here. Move it. Move it like you're trying to get the right angle. But the whole time you snap a picture of the person you with. And send, send, send him the picture and let him and then say, I'm on a date right now. And let, let him feel that pain. Don't be doing that to the crazy dudes you done gave the cooter cat to. No, don't do that to him. Do that to the person you're trying to run off. Let, let, let the person know, you know what I'm saying, there's somebody out here enjoying the middle of your body. That, that what you do. Because I'm going to tell you something about, I'm going to tell you something about these men out here. I'm going to tell you something about their ego and their pride. You, you want to break them? 
Let him get a visual. Let him get a visual of your mouth on somebody else. I, pro I promise you. I, I promise you. And still don't go back to him. But I promise you. He he he'll leave you alone then. He'll leave you alone. Let 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 him let him experience. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it, it, yeah. Let let him just think that somebody <laughs> this this somebody done that the that the end of the encounter is a, oh. I guarantee you, he done. He done. He can't. He, men can't take what they dish. They can't take what they dish. Soon as he think of a somebody else, been uh, cause he know you that pressure. He done. I promise you. you get this, and this how you gonna know. He gonna get the call you out tonight. He gonna get to say it all kind of crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then when he threatened you, listen, cause somebody just said he gonna put his hands on. You. Listen, I, commercial break me real quick, please. Commercial, commercial break me, please. I want to talk to the people who automatically, if 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 you have a mindset to say, the minute a woman exposed to a man, because I, I need to speak for the women real quick. If you have the mindset to automatically assume that when a woman is being truthful to a man, the first his first response is to do something physical to her. That is crazy. Like that is that that's shameful and sad that the first Initial thought is that he's gonna do something abusive to the woman. And if, and if you, I feel like a, I feel like if you think like that, you have those kind of tendencies. If you notice when I say it, I say he'll leave you alone because my brain is not saying I'm gonna put my hands on her for doing that. It's just, it's just not that serious. It's just not that serious. And then, and then, and then for, 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 if you're saying that and you thinking it's, it's okay to do, it's almost like you're saying you should, that, that a man should do that if the woman do that. No, 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 no. That ain't how it go. Like, that's crazy. Like, call, call the police on, lock them up, put, you know what I'm saying, whatever you got to do. But I, I think it's crazy that it, when, when, if you say stuff like that, because it, that's, a, that's, a, that's a double standard right there. That's a double standard. Because I guarantee you, men, uh, 95 and a half percent of men will not say if, he, if, if we having a conversation about a, a, a man cheating on a woman, we will not hear women respond and say, you ought to go in his mouth. You're not going to hear women say that. You're not going to hear women say, oh, you need to jump on him. You need to do, 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 do. You ain't going to hear women say that. You're going to hear women say, either talking about he done did it before. They're going to talk about leaving. They're going to talk about how he ain't no good. Women are not going to respond and say, oh, you, 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 you might well go on and jump on him. Why is it that men, when they hear that, they automatically turn around and say stuff like, oh, you should just jump on. Like, that's crazy to me. Like, that's crazy. So, <laughs> so look, so look, so look. So, so as we sitting here, as we sitting here and the dude, dude sitting out here, we, you know what I'm saying? I said, oh, you need to go out there and holler at him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna go out there and talk to him, that boy. And so, 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 so. I said, she said, just pop your head out the door. Pop my head out the door. Like what? So she showed me the message when she say when she when he she said nah just pop your head out though she said I told him I got company. She showed me the message. This man say oh, I'll pull off if he pop his head out the door. I said oh yeah you friends on you friends on. She was like what? You a okay with that? You talking about your friend? Yeah 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 you most definitely friends on because I most definitely ain't. I ain't, I ain't look 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 you most definitely gonna get you some pig. I said, well, as right now, you know, you're going to have to just live off the, the FaceTime that we had consulted. You know, I, think, I ain't saying you crazy. I said, but you got a lot going on right now. You got a lot going on. I said, so I'm going to go and pop my head out the door. I said, but you both definitely friends on. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep here on the couch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I, I ain't tripping. You know, I ain't scared. Girl. I promise you, I'm going to call the police on you. I'm going to call the police on you. You know what I'm saying? If you let off a shot or anything, you know what I'm saying? You let off a shot. We got, we, you, you're pulled up to the house. You know what I'm saying? We got your license plate. We know your name. We know your social media, all that, you know what I'm saying? We're the most definitely, I popped up, pop. What up, my guy? Okay, so boom. He, he pulled on out, right? It's, it's over. Said, but you, you most definitely friends on. She was like, what? So you ain't fucking give Nah, nah, I ain't gonna do that. And we've been cool. Well, how long we been cool now, Ray? About two years? You know what I'm saying? I kicked it, you know what I'm saying? I kicked it, you know what I'm saying? A year passed, you know what I'm saying? And and, and the same, and I don't know if it's the same boy, but she just had a baby. And, and, and that's just been my, that's <laughs> Nah, I don't never stop talking, Jane. And, and that, that's, been my, that's been my home ever since. Been, how old is the baby now? <laughs> how old is the baby? How old is the baby? And that, that's how me and my homie got cool. That's how we got cool. 
That's how we got cool, man. I hope y'all took a lot from that. You know what I'm saying? That was a good story. That's my homie. Yeah, I've been calling her name out the whole time. She's sitting on her red. Where you at? That's my homie. I'm, finished, I'm sure as soon as I get out live, she's going to call me. You wrong with that. You wrong with that. When you, that I'm going to put it on YouTube, E-Goddess. I'm going to put this on YouTube. So if you miss it, if you ain't already following me, hit the follow button. If you ain't already following me, pop, pop, hit the follow button. You know what I'm saying? Double tap the screen. You know what I'm saying? I got good lungs. Yeah, I ain't never did no drugs. I ain't never smoked. You know what I'm saying? None of that, you know? So, you know, it's, it's a blessing, you know? Yeah, yeah, I'm going I'm to put it on YouTube. Matter of fact, I'm going to... You want to call me? What you trying? Hold on. Let me look at you real quick. What you trying to talk about? Oh, uh, yeah, I got... Uh, if you go to my play, if you go to my profile page and go to and hit the link, I got this app. I got a, I got calendar. You know what I'm saying? I do relationship advice. You trying to write a book, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? You need some social media content advice. It's gonna cost you twenty dollars though. It's on my, it's on my uh, profile page. Go to my profile page. We can talk about whatever you want to talk about for thirty minutes. As long as you ain't talking about trying to give me no big purr, we cool. If you, if you, if you talk about trying to give me a big purr, I'm gonna hang phone up on you. So, <laughs> but it's on a. Uh, it's <laughs> go to who is that talking about they finna call me? You said they like you got my number. Hold on. Who is that? And then you take a pictures in the club. Hold on. See you take a pictures in the club, eh? Right? You take a picture. How you got my number? I gave you my number, you got a profile picture in the club? I ain't no way. Who you get my number from? I ain't, I know I ain't got no nobody with no club picture in my phone number. You you got a picture in front of the bar. I ain't got you my number. I ain't my number. You was on Miami Beach. I ain't even never been uh, when. I only been down there one time when I ran into the point. What the ran into the what's name? Let me get out my life before they block it. I'm gonna get my right back. Hold on. <laughs>